Hey y'all, video on the fly. Uh, hope everybody weekend went well. And we uh, get us a little rest and get ready to see what fresh hell Monday has waiting for our janky asses. I came out to feed my damn cat because I heard her. I heard her at the door. I go get the, can't bring the food. Like I said, you don't own a cat. The cat actually owns you. Anyway, let's walk. Maybe, maybe her little fuzzy butt uh, uh, show back up before I'm done with this. Because I'm going in the house. I'm going to take me a shower. Because I didn't change oil on, on Whitey Ford. I didn't change oil on Big Blue. I didn't cut the grass. And I didn't had enough for one day. Ready to uh, pump me down a couple, a little bit of vittles. Take me a shower and go to bed. And yeah, I said vittles. Just like uh, just like Jethro Bodine, Granny and Uncle Jed used to call it vittles. <laughs> the Beverly Hillbillies. Yes, I used to watch the Beverly Hillbillies. And yes, it was freaking hilarious to me. Um... <laughs> anyway forget it granny pull her shotgun on you and she mean it granny will shoot you that old that irene ryan will shoot you <laughs> okay but anyway just a, another little touch on the excerpt from the live stream that carrie and i done we need to redo that because carrie and i we done two quote unquote food desert videos and I think we done another one on just basic culinary stuff basic you know just and I, I just need to let her let her rip and on how to make cause see I know how to do a lot of stuff it's just a lot of stuff she knows how to do better because I've tasted her, her, even though I'm not a pastry guy, I, I know good stuff when I taste it. And cause she, um, brought it and gave it to me. I kept a little for myself and I took the rest to the office. Speaking of the devil, there you are. Meow, meow. Hey, Miss Cat. Hello. I don't know if I can get her. Yes. Now look, uh, woman, I didn't, hey y'all, let me get this cat, her damn food, it's like I work for the damn cat, how did I get here, this is y'all fault, I gotta find somebody to blame, I'll be right back, let me get this, this cat her food. Freaking spoil. I know, I know. Where's your fault? She spoiled. Yeah, you right. Y'all right. It is my fault. She spoiled. Y'all right. Damn spoiled ass cat. Anyway. Um, and Fuzzy spoiled too, so I can't say nothing because Fuzzy, his little punk ass is spoiled too. So, anyway. I want to. I would like to do another one with Carrie, you know, where we just and with anybody else that willing to join in. But you know, but I know, but you know, we have our chemistry and it flows. Now I like to cook. I think I'm pretty damn good at it. I'm the videos I put up. What of them? My smoke, my roasted tomato soup, and my. Uh, pork loin you know with the veggies and beef and then my remember when the world was going crazy over that Popeye's chicken sandwich and I done the video let me show you let me show all of y'all how to make a, a, a chicken sandwich the a chicken sandwich that'll make them folks at Popeye's throw that crap away in that video then you know with my Texas home fries because I got one of them deals where you skin the potato and you 
poking on the thing and it, and it make big fat ass french fries out of it and uh I don't remember why I think I got that at the um oh I did I got it at uh oh what's the name of the place a smart the same place where I got my deep fryers and the chillers and all that stuff for the convenience stores the uh racks the things that hold the cup dispensers and all the plastic spoons and straws and all that other stuff ace mart a-c-e-m-a-r-t it's like three two or three of them up there in san antonio and that's what they sell restaurant and uh, supplies for restaurants bars you know stuff like that uh you know the disposable plastic cups lids all that other stuff you know, man, uh, going to Ace Mart back when we was running a store, it felt like you was in a candy store. It just felt kind of weird. Any, well, not weird. It was fun. Uh, I learned a lot from running my own store. Didn't make a lot of money. Didn't make a lot of money at all. But I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I ain't even going to get into why well, I've, I've covered that before. But uh, anyway, look, where I was going off on a tirade about that Asian lady not beating her up I mean she's just doing her job because she changes her dress and her decorum with where she goes she go over here to these people she dress like this she talk like this but I'll just stick to the one where she was doing the mamba sauce one and going there with now she's Asian but she ain't know nothing about the Asian corner stores and takeout joints up there on the northeast east coast and whatnot and went with these two goons with two guys from radio station about getting their uh and they taking her you know to their takeout and telling them which sauce is good and which one you know the pink one is nasty and the dark red when you want the one that's this color and blah blah I'm quite sure that's all subjective because everyone's taste isn't the same and you get the two wings three wings five rings wings or you can get rice or you can get fries or whatnot blah 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 and the mama sauce and say it ain't even on the menu you just you just tell them and then they know which is something I get because there's certain things that's on the mint, you know, here in Texas. We don't have a lot of takeout because most of the restaurants in Texas is sit down. You can call in and have uh, have it set up, you know, for takeout or go in and pick it up. But most things here, you know, is sit down. That, but we're kind of, we're a different cut of people. You ate that that fast? Oh, you're going to come back and eat the rest later. How did I, uh, of all people, how did I end up with a cat? Or she ended up with me. Take your pick. I once had a girl, or should I say she once had me. It's a song from the Beatles. Um. Anyway. You have millions of niggas, of Negroes, black people, come whatever you put, put, use whatever, whatever descriptive phrase, narrative, or words that you want. And y'all can't even. So you just going to lay on the ground and roll and get all dirty. See, you ain't bringing your ass in my house. You need to stay outside. She come inside. She just look around. She walk like she walking around looking like she inspecting the place. Hmm. Okay. And then lay on the rug by the door and she'll lay there for a while. Then start, meh, meh. I guess that means food, water. <laughs> you, eh. Or pay me some attention. 
you pay her some attention, she chill out, then she sit by the door, you know she want to go just open the door and let her go. Damn cats. Anyway, it seems, I'm like, man, now how is it? I, and I know I'm going to say this is going to sound kind of effed up when I say it. Now, you can, y'all can come up with all kind of bootleg BS and organize the hell out of it. From selling illicit stuff to fencing stolen stuff and counterfeit stuff. So you can do all this crap, but you can't and risk going to jail and all kind of other crap or getting clapped. But you don't want to do something legit. And pe- then, oh, then the, and the ones that was, well, you know, that food ain't healthy. Yeah, and crack is. And meth is. And crocodile is. And heroin is. And cocaine is. And, la- and laced uh, uh, sherm sticks and lace weed, python as they call it. Down there close to the border here in Texas. That is. Quick, quick one for folks. Y'all had, y'all answer me this. Would y'all rather eat a fried piece of cod, deep fried piece of fish, a deep fried chicken wing, or some or or or, or a jab of, of of black tar heroin in your freaking vein? Or some or some methamphetamine. Now, which one you think is more detrimental to your health? That's the part to kill me sometime with Negroes. I'd rather you just would have said nothing. It said I'm well. That shit is unhealthy. Yeah, if I'm, I mean, I used to eat it every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But them same Negroes, you don't have them saying nothing. About giving up drugs. Or they drinking a hen. Got they nicknames for stuff. Naughty head. You know, Seagram's the bottle. The bumps on the bottle. Yeah. Chirac. For y- y'all boy pu- puff piddly poodly poof. Poof but puffy. You don't ever hear him say nothing about that. Only about you trying to peddle some chicken. Or some fried rice that they probably eat. All bullshit aside, you fucking hypocrites. But anyway, I think Carrie is right. Actually, I know she's right on this part. When she said, Nick, the reason a lot of them don't want to do it, number one, most modern women don't know how to cook, which is true. A lot of men know how to cook enough to get by. Now, I granted, yeah, I know that some of the best chefs in the world are men. I know. We've covered that. A lot of men know how to cook. I know. I know how to cook. I put. I tell you what, I'll come to your kitchen and I'll run your chick out of the kitchen. But I still know my way around drills, power tools, saws, wood two by fours. Two by sixes, two by eights, two by tens, four by fours, and six by sixes. Screws, nails, and hammer. Drywall. I can do it all. And change your oil and rotate your tires so you can have a safe ride carrying your ass to work. So that that don't apply to me. Am I a unicorn? Maybe, but I doubt it. Anyway, she said, uh, Carrie said, honest work to a lot of these modern, modern era folks is beneath them. Earning an honest dollar is beneath them. Working for an honest dollar, putting in effort, putting your touch on something is beneath them them you gotta do drugs you gotta do scams you gotta jip people out of flipping houses 
you got a, you know, bootleg stuff, uh, sell, selling on the corner out of the trunk of your car or at the damn, uh, the, the swap meet. That's respectable business in the majority of the Negro ranks. And that's fucking sad. I, I got to give it to her. She's right. She's right. She's right. You know, I, I, I ain't got nothing on it. I just got to let it walk like that. But it sure would be nice. And they laugh. And then y'all complain. You complain about how Kung Fu Kevin treats you. About how Aloha Snack Bar treats you. You know, about how Petty Peshwan, uh, 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 P Petty Pashtun, uh, treats you. But y'all won't stay the fuck away from them. Because they got what we like. You're an idiot. But you talk all this smack about doing this. Want to make a rap about it. Everybody want to be a thug, a, a, a swindler, or a dealer. Y'all are dumb. You're doomed and you dumb. And you wonder why the world views you the way they do and what the way a lot of people treat you the way they do and the way a lot of people don't want shit to do with you. Even a lot of people that look like you, we just don't dress and talk and act like you, but we look like you the way we do. Because at a certain point in time, you get tired. You get tired. Of dealing with this crap. It's loathsome. <laughs> it's tiresome. I don't want to mess with this crap. But anyway. Certain, I mean, certain things. And then we have, man, all these abandoned buildings. Okay. We'll get one. Find out the paperwork you need. To get it up, you know, to this, that, and other. See what it used to be. If uh, the eat the closer it is to something that you want to do, the less cash outlet you have. Because all of y'all are six figure men, right? All of y'all are bald boss bitches, right? All of y'all got money dripping out your ass, right? But y'all making videos complaining about the high price of rent and living in your car. And they trying to repo the motherfucker. I don't even know why I care about y'all. When I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. Because. Well I don't need nobody to care about me. Because the best person to care about me is me. But I know you don't care about me. And I don't even know why I care about y'all. When I know I shouldn't. Know it's detrimental. In the end. More, than, more often than not. Is going to come up to nothing or something bad. Not all the time, but more often than not. But still, I try to look out for you fucking savages. I do. Like David Carroll told me, I need you need your head examined. And he's probably right. No, ain't no probably right. He was right when he said told, said that to me. He's right. I admit it. I didn't admit it then, but I admit it now. Because savages don't know how to, most savages, even when they have the ability to do something else that's fruitful and not based on savagery, savage ain't going to do it. Because you lame. That make you look lame. And if, see, I do something like that, Boom, quee, quee, uh, uh, boom, uh, uh, and Mercedes and, and them won't be, uh, won't be, uh, 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 receptive to me hollering at them so I can pump them up with baby number five. <laughs> you fucking savages. But, uh, man, look. If you know what you know, if, if you know what you like to eat and what the people around you eat, 
That's half the battle. The menu will sell itself. I hate to sign a jack and ate. No, Texas cuisine. Ours is a little different than what our, the cuisine was when I was in Detroit. Because y'all know I'm born and raised there. And I'm quite sure it's different than it is in Trenton, you know, Brooklyn, Baltimore, Philly, or you know, and whatever. I'm, I'm quite sure it's different. But if you will eat Kung Fu Kevin's, Petty, pa, uh, Petty Pashtun, and Aloha Snack Bars, how come you won't eat your own? Hmm? How come you won't eat your own? Sad part is most of you won't patronize your own. You you won't want you you want your own to do something that you won't ask Kung Fu Kevin to do. Kung Fu Kevin to tell you to get the f f u c k k k out of his store, and you will. Kung Fu Kevin a drop kick your ass or drop kick your bra. You come back there complaining, me this mofo, me this mofo, and you talking that s that shiznit, and two days later, your broad right back in there trying to buy some old fake ass hair and weave and nails and shit, or food, or whatever it is. So now I'm gonna end with this one. Now Carrie was right. But I think also Truth Teller was right. Because when you're looking at, if you know about Schrodinger's cat theorem, T-H-E-O-R-E-M, sometimes two things can be right at the same time. And Truth Teller says, well, <clears throat> Nick, let me tell you, Cause it was me, him, brother X. I think Slide was in that stream too. Me, me, true brother X. Shout out, brother X, and Sly. You know what? They ain't gonna do it. Yeah. Number one, they fucking savages. Number one, number two, they know why am I gonna open up this, open up this joint, this bodega? Cause you know what's gonna happen? Yeah. Negroes just like savages, just like me, is gonna come in here. And try to do the same savage shit that we do to other people. I, what, what am I going to do, folks? Because I can't turn this off. I can't. I can't turn it off. I try turning it off. And I can't. <laughs> Say like that. I said, man, why you love them savages? I don't know. To a point. You know, because I ain't going to lose my head over the over these damn savages. But I I think both of them are right. Carrie said, you know, it's beneath is beneath the average one. Clean money is beneath you. It takes you being on time. You know, having some decorum about yourself, having a, a friendly customer service like spirit about yourself and putting out a product that, you know, people can get from you or they can go get it from somewhere else. Then you have truth like, nah, so I ain't going to build this because they're going to try to rip me off and bash my stuff just like they bash everybody else's. So why would I put up with that? So I guess when you put it like that, then you're doomed. You're all doomed. You're doomed to deal with Petty Pashtun, Aloha Snack Bar, and Kung Fu Kevin buying wings from them with fried rice or fries and fucking mamba sauce. I, I got nothing, y'all. All this, all this good skill and talent that we have, we have. And then, the, oh, look at the black business. We contribute almost three trillion dollars to the American economy, and that's higher than the GDP 
of 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 the and they saying that okay, you didn't picked up that talking point from whoever the fuck. It's a true talking point, but it's a talking point nonetheless. Because uh, uh, get them to go into GDP, gross domestic product, uh, and get to talking about your ROI versus TCI. I always said the ones trying to get all, all cutesy because, you know, Negroes love little cutesy little catchphrases and whatnot and acronyms and hooks and whatnot. And you hear them, you know, they didn't picked up ROI. Well, we've been turning, talking about ROI since forever. Return on investment. But then ask them, you know, you can't even try to calculate your ROI until you do TCI first. Total cost involved. You got to do that first. You got to do that before you even open the front freaking doors. Because your ROI means nothing. You ain't got a return. You don't even have an investment because you ain't even figured out the total cost involved just to get it off the ground. Did I say that out loud? And I ain't reading no effing script like y'all is holding up some shit or, or echoing something that one of these other freaking clowns and said. Hell, YouTube didn't even exist and we was on this. So what's your total cost involved? How much that place costs? Well, I was going to get a truck. Cool. How much does the, the food truck cost or the trailer cost? What's your city permit and uh, what, what, for you, where you're at? Is it a city thing or a county thing? Or is it certain places where you got to get a permit from the county and the city? Or are you in one of them places where if you get one from the county, it covers all the cities inside of the county? Now, in blue city, blue places, y'all can forget that. But in red county, just like where I'm at, you can get one for DeWitt County. It covers everything inside the county. Don't matter. Wilson County, you get one for the county, covers everything inside the county. It don't matter. I'm quite sure Baltimore and Maryland ain't the same. You probably got to get a different one for every damn other borough, uh, every different borough in damn New York. I bet you they got their hand in your freaking pocket. But that's the blue shit that y'all want. That's the blue shit you got. But anyway, okay, you got the truck. Yeah. How much the truck costs? How much it costs to maintain the truck? What's your quarterly service? How much is the quarterly service on it? What's that? Chassis lube, tire rotation, oil change. Fluid, uh, uh, coolant temperature check because you ain't got to change it every day. But you know, it's a thing called a hydrometer. You take, uh, run it till it get hot, take a couple of drops of the coolant and you drop it on the hydrometer and it tell you whether the free, you know, whether the coolant, the water, the glycol, the water level is right or you got too much glycol, no problem, just drain some out and add some water. Or you ain't got enough glycol, no problem, drain out some water and add some glycol ethylene. Y'all call it antifreeze. It's glycol ethylene. Okay? And do all that. So how much that cost? I don't know. Can you do it yourself? I don't know. No. No. Well, that mean you got to pay somebody to do it, right? Yeah. So you need to know how much it costs. How much a set of tires cost on this truck? I don't know. What's the miles per gallon of this truck? I don't know. Who has the best deal on fuel around you? I don't know. Diesel? Regular? Mid-grade, most of them are run fine on mid-grade. The gasoline was, I ain't never seen, I've never seen a delivery truck require super unleaded. I haven't. I don't know. The food stuffs. How much is the commissary slot at the county? Are you in one of them counties that require, a com that you have, a, a park your vehicle at a commissary, you can't park it at the house because anytime the inspectors want to show up, they want a place to be able to go and check the truck, your food stuffs, your cleaning station, your, uh, you know, your storage and temperature and the, I don't know, but you talking about ROI and you ain't done the TCI yet. Okay. You're not serious. Y'all be good and be safe. Bye. Plane tickets. I got the plane tickets. I got the plane tickets. I got the plane tickets.